All right, the year is coming to an end, and we are picking our top five favorite guitars from the shop from this past year. Starting with number five for me was the LSL T-Bone in Army Green. Uh, I loved everything about this guitar. We did a tone brew with it. Um, it had such a vintage vibe. Uh, lightweight body, alder body, roasted flame maple neck, and I just, if I was gonna buy a vintage style T, that would've been it. <laughs> All right, starting off my top five guitars of 2022 with a Friedman Vintage T. Classic T, butterscotch finish, but just some huge sounding classic 90 pickups. Um, anything with P90s I'm cool with, and this thing sounded amazing. <laughs> sold pretty quick but uh yeah we'll have more Friedmans coming in the new year all right the uh, number four for me is the sir classic s antique in olympic white uh with with the, just just a little bit of aging on the body it had the even c medium neck hss pickups and a floyd rose and it's not my typical kind of guitar but i loved everything about that guitar all right my number four is this lockhorn marquette pretty much everything i love about an offset guitar just smashed into a more compact design. It's got some Lawler Jazzmaster pickups that sound amazing, especially with a five-way blade. There's so many options in here. Um, and then the Gold O trim. You know, you might have seen them on Duesenbergs. Super smooth. Can't recommend these trims enough. And just the network, everything about these is just perfect. So. Uh... <laughs> three for me uh this is a this is a big one i i've considered buying this actually um it is a new brand for the shop it is the shabbat lion standard which we actually still have right here and it is just a magnificent guitar it's got a one piece ash body it's the nam 2022 collection uh the bigsby on it it just feels incredible it has this almost open acoustic kind of vibe to it uh, but plays like butter the next got a slight V to it, and the Lawler 52 set is just insane. So if you're looking for a T, I really recommend this one. It is my number three uh, favorite guitar of 2022. All right, my number three favorite guitar of 2022 is this Dunnable Narwhal. Again, this one just came in. We've still got it available. Um, but yeah, just a killer sounding guitar. Plays amazing. Super comfortable. If you haven't tried a reverse offset, if, if the shape scares you, don't worry. This thing just melts right into you. Um, Donable's own pickups in here sound incredible. And yeah, it's, it's just a killer guitar all around. <laughs> Number two, number two. This one is really painful, actually. I, my second favorite guitar of the year, I almost bought, genuinely. It was a Rock and Roll Relics Revenge model, which is their own model, their, their own design, and it was all Carina. Had two humbuckers, had a really chunky 59, almost 58 neck on it. And my friend was coming into town. Uh, we had just gotten the guitar in. I was thinking about buying it and I, I came to work. I knew he was coming to the shop. I thought he was going to buy something else. I showed him this guitar and he also fell in love with it instantly. So it is the one that got away from me this year. Um, so uh, all we have for a picture is a picture of me sadly selling it to my friend, but I'm very happy that it's got a good home. And yeah, that was a killer guitar. I wish I could tell you more about it, but we didn't even get to list it. It sold so fast. So um, that is number two, the Rock and Roll Relics Revenge. All right, my second favorite guitar of 2022 was a Luxtone Choppa S. This thing turned out amazing. Um, metallic purple Cuda finish on it with a black racing stripe. Cool aged hardware, metal pickguard on it. Um, normally I'm not one to play a Floyd Rose, but this thing just played so well. Um, super smooth, roasted maple neck. Uh, again, can't say enough good things about this. Um, the Luxtone pickups in it just absolutely cut through everything. Um, yeah, 
Killer Guitar, my number two, Lux Tone, Chop Ass. All right, my number one pick for 2022 of my favorite guitar actually came home with me. It is the Rock and Roll Relics Thunders Custom 2 uh, DC. And it is absolutely my favorite guitar uh, in general. It is my, my number one uh, at the shop and my number one at home. I've recorded with it already. I've written songs on it. I've uh, gigged it. And it is just a magnificent guitar. 59 neck, nice and chunky. Uh, cool white stinger on the back. Just light aging. And these are Rock and Roll Relics on the humbuckers. And they, they just sing. I, I can't say anything else about it except for that it's perfect. And I love everything about it. guitar of 2022 was a Tom Anderson Icon Classic. This one had a charcoal frost finish on it, in distress, three really sweet sounding single coils, and it's pretty much the ultimate S for me. It had all the specs I want, a more modern radius on it, a rosewood fretboard, um, just the perfect guitar, and the resonance on it was unbelievable. We did a video with this one as well. Um, yeah, just the ultimate S-style guitar at the end of the day. And uh, yeah, that's my number one, Tom Anderson, Icon Classic. <laughs> Are some honorable mentions we sell a lot of guitars a lot of guitars come and go through the shop it's hard to name them all they're all really good but uh, i do have three honorable mentions uh starting in no particular order the paler phoenix was absolutely one of the coolest guitars i've ever played it's a jaguar style guitar 24 inch scale length with a master trem and it lawler jaguar pickups it's sung it was great all right a few guitars that didn't make the cut but still deserve an honorable mention the James Trussart Rustomatic Steel Guard. Great Swamp Ash guitar, HSS, and it had a Vega trim on it, which I absolutely love. Me. Uh, Another honorable mention for me is the Lockhorn Zipper. Lockhorn's a, a company that we brought on this year. They're based in Chicago. We got to meet the guys, and they just make stunning guitars. So that's definitely one of my one of the favorites. And Next, we've got a Sir Classic S Antique in Fire Mist Gold. This one had just enough checking on the body to give it that nice aged look. Uh, last but not least, the Rock and Roll Relic Starfighter in Pink Paisley. Uh, the Starfighter is such a cool, almost uh, Malcolm Young kind of vibe, and that came and went really quickly. Um, but it had a nice chunky neck, and the Paisley and the white finish just looks stunning. My final honorable mention is a Tom Anderson Raven Classic, Burgundy Mist. I had to get an offset on the list, and this is the one. Um, 3P90s, j trim, just the perfect specs, a slightly more compact body shape. What more could you want? So Happy New Year. I hope you guys had some memorable guitars this year as well, and we'll see you in 2023. Slice it. Happy New Year! We'll be cutting back.